This next story is pretty wild. An Albuquerque man is missing part of his family tonight. Description of the loved one? Well, he speaks Spanish and Farsi. He started to gray a little bit, and he can fly. Colton Schoen takes it from there. The Tutu is an African gray parrot, and you can see he's got quite the personality. He, he knows all the way we speak. Uh, he he uh, pretend answers the phone as has, has half of us. Brian Cox says he's been with the family for over a decade and recently got out of the house. <laughs> now he's asking folks to be on the lookout for a multilingual parrot soaring over Albuquerque. He speaks Spanish. My mother in laws from Colombia, and, uh, and he also speaks Farsi. My father in laws from Iran. So, uh, like, they'll, they'll, they'll like, tell him, like, you know, Tutu Maluco and things like that. Or, like, he'll dance the Spanish songs. Cox says Tutu has been spotted flying around his neighborhood near UNM Hospital. They almost got him back this morning. A neighbor about a block away found him in, his, in uh, their, their backyard in their tree. And we went to him this morning. And just as we were, like, transferring him out of the tree, he kind of freaked out, jumped off, and then he flew off again. So... I think he knows he's close to home. We've been walking around talking and trying to get him to come back. He says the family is getting nervous and they hope Tutu comes home before anything bad happens. So people describe African Greys like uh, like they're about as smart as a four-year-old. So you think, you know, if, you, if your four-year-old was walking around, what would you be worried he would do? You know, maybe eat something he doesn't know or like get hurt by something because it just didn't know it was in danger. Cox says if you see his parrot to please give him a call. We're going to put his contact information on our website under this story at KOB.com. I'm Colton Schoen, KOB4.